Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Paula from Paula's DIY Decor and I'm the crafter from Down Under. Today I have three wonderful DIYs for you as part of my blue and white ginger jar inspired tablescape series. The first one we're going to kick off with is the ginger jar dupe. I found a ginger jar online for $79. All you need is paper napkins, a beautifully shaped ginger jar style uh, container and some white paint. First I'm going to cover the entire jar with white paint. Uh, I found a jar that was actually some ping pong balls from a discount store here in Australia, Big W, and I just want to show you that all crafters make mistakes and I used a, um, a hot uh, gun to try and help me take off the sticker and burned the plastic. I don't know what I was thinking of, but do not use hot uh, air on plastic containers. They do melt the container. Nevertheless, I persevered. It still worked out beautiful, but it was a silly mistake on my behalf. So I painted the entire jar or container in white paint. It's just regular house paint, but you can use chalk paint, acrylic white paint, whatever you've got on hand. I try to use as much of my own materials that I have on hand. Then I went and cut out some of the paper napkin to the shape of my container and I used Mod Podge to uh, lay down a nice healthy um, layer of Mod Podge to adhere the paper napkin to. Now a little trick that I want to share with you I learned from um, some crafters uh, on YouTube myself is to scrunch up some cling wrap or some uh, plastic wrap, cr scrunch it up into a ball and it allows you to uh, really spread your paper napkin without ripping or tearing it. It just glides over the paper napkin. It's fantastic. So continue to use the design on your paper napkin. This is a blue and white series. Great for summer, great for spring. In fact, it's great all year round. I was really attracted to a ginger jar inspired type of tablescape. Can't wait to share with you the finished product in part two of my series. Uh, but all you do is you cut down that paper napkin to the shape of your container and then you glue it on using Mod Podge. Now when you're trying to cut around a circular shape, um, I found that it was actually better for me to cut the paper napkin in a circle. Um, that allowed me then to wrap the na paper napkin around the neck of the bottle. So again, using some Mod Podge, uh, you just then uh, wrap the paper napkin. You can see there the circular shape really made um, it hug that bottle much more smoothly and beautifully and then use your cling wrap to really adhere it onto the to the bottle shape or to the ginger jar shape don't forget with all paper napkins they usually come in two or three layers you need to peel away the layers until you get to the ink part of the paper napkin uh, so that it adheres beautifully because if you do put on the multiple layers without um, ripping them, uh, sorry, without um, pulling them apart, they may very well come undone as you're mod podging. So now I'm going to cover the lid and because it is a circular shape lid, you'll notice that I'm putting in some nips on the edge of the circle. These little cuts or little nips around the edge of a circle allow you to fold over the paper napkin or material and uh, the little nips overlap themselves so you don't have any gaps as you're laying down your material. You'll see what I mean um, as the video goes along but it's a great neat little tip.
to your ginger jar, just add another layer of Mod Podge to seal the container. And I've used a high gloss Mod Podge to give it that nice sheen so it looks like the original porcelain or ceramic versions of ginger jar. There you have a beautiful blue and white ginger jar. It's made completely on a budget. It cost me around $10 Australian, much better than the $80 original. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I've totally enjoyed making it. It's one of my favorite crafts. Enjoy it, use it on a shelf, put it on your table. I'm planning to use it as part of my ginger jar inspired blue and white tablescape series. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Leave me a comment and I'll see you soon. For this DIY, I'll be showing you how I made my blue and white coasters, which are part of my Ginger Jar Inspired Tablescape series. All you're going to need are some wooden coasters, round coasters, square coasters, doesn't really matter, white paint, blue and white napkins and some Mod Podge. So you're going to kick off by covering your coasters with white paint. This will allow the blue and white paper napkin to really uh, show through in a really nice, uh, all those bright bold colours. With paper napkins, they do come in multi layers, some two, some three layers. Make sure you peel away those layers. And then all you're going to do is cut around the shape of your coaster. Um, I just um, used a pen and made a circular shape. And then with your scissors, you're simply going to cut out that shape. Now I can't recommend enough using some cling wrap or some plastic film to help you smear the napkin over a generous layer of Mod Podge onto your coasters. What the cling wrap does or the film does is lets you glide the paper napkin over the coaster and minimises any tearing or ripping of the paper napkin. After you've done that, then just use some sandpaper to uh, sand down the edges. It gives you a nice clean finish. You can use scissors if you don't have any sandpaper. Um, it does the same thing, but I just find the sandpaper works uh, really cleanly. Then to finish off your coaster, you just add another layer of Mod Podge. I've used some high gloss Mod Podge and that's it. An easy peasy uh, craft a nice beautiful blue and white coaster that you can use as part of your blue and white inspired tablescape for me it's part of the ginger jar inspired blue and white tablescape series i think it's gorgeous let me know what you think and i look forward to seeing you soon my last diy for today is my blue and white mini vase it's part of my ginger jar inspired tablescape series and I thought I would use the design within a paper napkin to adhere to some real um, mini little jars that I've had in my stash for quite some time. They're actually glass jars and I painted them white and then decoupaged or glued the blue and white paper napkin onto the mini jar. Don't forget with paper napkins they are uh, multi-layered so you do need to uh, pull apart those layers until you get to the bottom design and then all you do is use some Mod Podge and you adhere your design onto your mini vase. These vases were part of my stash, the napkin is part of my blue and white uh, ginger jar inspired tablescape series but you can use any paper napkin, any design that you like what these mini jars do is they allow me to really make my table sing in terms of beautiful decor on the table as you're laying it down with your plates and your glasses and your silverware um, or your, um, your uh, flatware and it really makes uh, adds an extra layer of dimension to your table. I hope you've enjoyed this DIY. It's again super super easy to do use your imagination let me know what you think i think they're gorgeous i look forward to seeing you again soon